Welcome to the Season 2 Parkour Death Run, I guess? This uses the new mechanics that were added in Chapter 3 Season 2, which are actually some of my favorite mechanics to ever enter Fortnite. I think we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it. It actually put me right into the map. This entire map is literally about mantling and, well, I mean, just everything. You know, mantling, parkour, and all that stuff. It's funny to me, we have death runs, and we have now legitimate parkour. This is what I've been waiting for since the season released. I figured maps would go to a whole new level. Try sprinting, jumping, you'll gain more distance than normal running. I've already uh, been doing that. That's kind of my natural default now for long jumps like this. Just sprint and jump. And then we could do that and do that. There is also a speed run we could have done, but I decided not to do that because, well, I don't know. I'm trying to uh, just figure it out for the first time here. <gasps> I should have slid, I think. Oh, and it's not really a death. It doesn't count that. Unless the score counts because I died, which would be very unfortunate. I have one death. Oh, I... Okay, the score does count as a death. Well, why even take me back here if you're not going to count it, or if you're going to, you know, count it as a death? I guess in one in one aspect, it's technically a death. It's logged as a death, but it saves me the trouble of waiting for the respawn and all that. I can actually just get right back into the map. Okay, gotta wait for my stamina built uh, a, a built a bit so I can actually make this jump. Oh my god! Also, before I forget, what do you guys think of the new season? What do you think about the new building? I personally love it, and I want to do some more Fortnite with it uh, in it before it goes away. I just hope that I have time to holding the slide key after jumping to instantly go into another slide. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Yo, dude. I like this. This map really takes use of the mechanics of the game, which is super freaking awesome. Okay, I messed that completely up. We know what we're doing. We're pro gamers out here. Okay, we're not pro gamers out here. So I've got to jump, slide, land, slide, go through the th under the thing, slide. Wait, okay, well, my brain's fried. Jump. Slide, jump, slide, jump, mantle, barely made it, level 13. I actually don't know how many levels are in this. This is the part that I uh, wanted to see in these different maps because, I mean, people are going to come up with some crazy things with this. This was just the first one I saw, and uh, honestly, I almost didn't do a death run or anything this week, but I saw this map. It barely caught my eye. Level 14. While mantling, turn 90 degrees to the left or right to stable yourself. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Oh, my God. These are like Neos, but going up. That is actually, first of all, really easy, surprisingly, and also really cool. I failed that. Oh, these jumps are so tricky. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Dude, people have already come up with some really sick mechanics or, I guess, jumps with this i can't wait to see more i'm rambling a lot about that but i'm just super excited sprint jumping allows you to reach higher ledges than normal jumping okay so i gotta sprint and slide here i think and then jump again okay uh ooh, that's a i mean i guess it's not really a tricky one it's what we've been doing here just a little bit different uh okay can i do that and then do a little bit of that oh yes we're so good right now um how does this one work? Is it like a oh, it's a double mantle, okay. Oh no, is this what I think it is? Okay, so I can just hold spacebar and do this. This is- oh my god. I'm actually in love with this map. Guys, if you're looking for a Fortnite creator code to use, I recommend using the one at the top of the screen. I don't know if that's his actual or their actual code, but relatable. I like their map. This is awesome. Can I do a little... Oh, too fast. This is freaking sick, dude. Oh, I missed. Let's see if I can uh, figure it out a bit. Okay. Do a bit of this. And then we do a 180. And then we land right here. And then we gotta go around this way. Oh, dude. That is so cool. The things you can do in maps because of these new mechanics is going to be insane. I know I've already said that in many different ways, but I'm just so excited what do you guys think about the new parkour mechanics i think i've already technically asked that but particularly in creative mode do you think it's going to be awesome or do you think it's going to be bad i would love to see some pvp related maps in involving this i may even make another uh essentially 
uh, what, what, what I call it? Turf Wars. I did that so long ago. I made one and I made two and I was working on a three and I think I think I stopped and started working on a fourth for some reason. I don't know. I might actually make one in the future involving these mechanics and no building. What's the tip here? Sprinting into a slide allows you to, to cover larger distances. The only thing is... No, that doesn't work here. Interesting. Okay, okay, we got it. We nailed it. Level 22. What is this one? Oh, what actually is this one? There's no tip here. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I jumping around it? I'm jumping around it. It's a Neo Mantle jump. I respect it a lot. Okay, let me get some stamina up because I'm obviously going to need it for this jump. Oh, these jumps are a little bit, a little bit dicey, not gonna lie. They're not too difficult, but they are a little, uh, a little scary. So this is what we were doing before, the little mantle jump, but we gotta run and slide into them. That is actually freaking cool and a little bit terrifying, not gonna lie. What are we doing? Oh, okay, another kind of, like, Neo-y jump. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Um, maybe I get, like, here. And do that. Oh, dude, let's freaking go. Are we doing that again? Where the fuck am I? What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's not it. This is tricky. This is, like, a more ugh, pocketed Neo. This is, this is actually a hard jump. Oh, let's go, dude. We fucking nailed that. I mean, after... Many attempts. Okay, uh, try to chain mantling together without stopping. It's actually easy. You can actually just hold the mantle key. You don't have to time it, which is super, honestly, clean and makes these levels pretty freaking easy. That's how I'm getting through a lot of them. Like, even the ones that uh, that doesn't specify to do that or specify chaining them, I'm just holding it down. Because it makes life so much easier. Easier? I'm dead. Let's go, dude. So much better. Okay, so we gotta jump up to that one. We're probably chain mantling again. I think. Oh, that's tricky. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that was unethical on how to do that. Well, wait, unethical, not the right one. That was not how I was supposed to do the jump, but I did it. Oh, shit. Okay, that's cool. Too f ooh, I go keep going too far out that way and not up against the wall, which is not what you want. You actually want to go over the wall. Come on, me. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. I didn't mantle. I hate that. Oh god, I wasn't sprinting. Oh, don't need, don't need to sprint. I'm doing so good, guys. I can't wait to see my deaths at the end of this. That's sarcasm, by the way. They're combining a lot of different elements into these levels, which I really like. It's like we teach you an element, and then we kind of combine it with some other elements that are already or that you've already done, which gets a little bit tricky when when chaining them. But I actually really like that. Oh please. Oh, that was so scary. Oh, am I doing a slide again? I don't know. Oh my god, that was... That was great. You gave a sliver of a ledge. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, jump, turn around. What? Okay, like that. I can't see the wall tip, though, unfortunately. I don't think the white on the this color wall is good. I don't know if it's just my settings, but it, uh, I recommend doing something a little differently. My keyboard shut off there, and it was very scary. Okay, so we do the same thing here. And mess it up. No, I hit my head, though. Okay. My whole ass game decided to just lag out there when I was trying to do that jump. I just, for some reason, cannot do this. There we go. Okay, please do not reset me back to that one. Just, like, don't make that a possibility. Okay, just a free death, I guess. We we're supposed to slide there, but I butchered it, but it's okay. We're gonna cheese it and do this. Oh, get cheese, nerd. Get cheese. Get freaking cheesed on. I'm better than you. I think that deserves an A. I, I don't think that was cheating, because uh, technically I used my big brain to figure out how to parkour through your map a, a different way. Perfectly legit. Let's go. So much better than the average... Uh, What am I doing here? Is this what I think it is? <laughs> Nailed it. How did I do this the first time perfectly, and then the second time so horribly wrong? That really is just me in a nutshell. Accidentally does something, can't replicate it. But, uh, this and that. Oh, dude, that feels so good to do. Feels so good. <gasps> oh. Okay, what am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, these ledges, like, they throw me off for some reason. Oh, oh help. Keep running out of stamina, man. Oh, I fucked it again. Oh my god, no. Okay, here we go again. I cannot butcher this. <gasps> Please, no! 
What the bull? The what? The, 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 what? It, oh, it's not doing the thing where I jump and it grabs the fucking ledge. I might actually not be able to get past this level, and that upsets me because I nailed this first jump, like, or this jump here, twice. I nailed it twice, and now I'm struggling to get past here. And and then when I finally get there, I just butcher that jump. I'm not even, I'm not even failing on the original jump I was uh, that I couldn't get past, like my farthest point. Like, like, what is that shit? Okay, alright, we're here again. I just, I don't know what I do on this part, other than just try it. Oh my god! <gasps> I was ready to give up. I was like, is it time? Oh, I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself. There's no shot, I just did that. I just didn't even jump there. I just, like, I don't know, man. I just didn't even jump. There's no, like, clear indicator of the ledge. It's just, like, it, it blends, at least for me, it blends so much with the walls and everything. Gotta kind of play it in a way, like, it has to look good in design, but also, I, I don't know how to explain it. It has to be good for the eyes, good for the player, you know what I mean? That being said, it doesn't matter, because I'm literally just going to ace this level real quick and move on to the next one. See? You just have to have some fucking confidence. I swear to god, is there's more? Oh no. Oh, please. I cannot take another- uh, I can't take any more disappointment. I just can't. Oh, thank god. Next level, 38. That took way longer than it should've. Okay, this is interesting. Ooh, that's gonna be hard to time. I actually kind of like this. It, it, it feels like it's not gonna be too bad, though, compared to that last level. We've we've done things similar to this before, just without the, uh, the mantling. So we got it kind of down. I just, uh, can't do another hell level like that one I was just on. Oh, and we restart. Good. You probably shouldn't just, you know, not have checkpoints and just do super long levels. Super long levels are not really, uh, not really fun. Especially when there's more one hard jump. If there's, like, one hard jump and the rest are, like, super easy, yeah, sure. I don't make that. Well, fuck. I'd love to see someone actually speedrun this map and, like, just, like, perfect jump everything. Yeah, I'm supposed to go up here first. Then I go for that jump. Which is still an absurd jump, by the way. Oh, dude, like, look, the movement just feels so good. I don't think any game has movement that feels this good. I mean, there's some, sorry, let me rephrase that. There's some that have really solid movement, like Apex, obviously, but it doesn't feel quite the same as what this feels like. Oh, fuck, I gotta re- See, this is what I mean. I think I changed my mind on this level. This is this is the, the, the fucking bottleneck, that frustrating jump, and then even worse, there's a jump that I- didn't complete the first time, obviously, or else I'd be off this level, and I have to complete it in my first try, or I have to redo all of this again. I did it too early. I'm gonna actually fuck. I can't do it. It's 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 not even it's not even a difficult map. It's too long of a map. It's too fucking long. You made the 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 levels long, and I'm not built for that. I'm not. If you guys think you can beat that map, I think the code was on screen. I'm not sure. Tweet me a video of you beating it if you did at Flurfolder. If you enjoyed this video, go down below, leave a like on it, subscribe for more pain, and I'll see you guys in the next one.